conventional approaches to solving food and hunger are failing. We need to train a new generation of scientists and professionals who approach problems out there in the real world in a very different manner. The Centre for Agroecology, Water and Resilience is a pretty unique place. It's a window into potentially a different system that the world can have to, f to feed humanity. This is the only university offering a course on agroecology, water and food sovereignty and the operative term there is food sovereignty. Food sovereignty is quite a radical take on how the food system, how land use, how social relations, how the economy, how governance have to change in order to meet that fundamental need of food and clean drinking water. Not only is the research we're doing trying to work along the lines of a new paradigm, but equally we want to be able to share that knowledge with the MSc and PhD students who come here. We've also got the specific humidity. It's quite radically different from a lot of other places um, to study this subject. It looks at the social side, it looks at the scientific side. We're looking at how to take people's knowledge and skills and actually use them in a sustainable way to empower people to be able to provide food for themselves, for their communities. It's very much about social engagement as well as just how you grow the crops themselves. These are academic solutions but also practical solutions that everyday people are implementing now to get us to a better food system around the world. I work with an international team with international flavours and it's fantastic. They have a completely different view on the same problems and it means that I'm not just writing a thesis, I'm growing as a researcher. You've got this unique combination of people with a very wide range of disciplines. But in addition to support that, what we have is we've uh, had a specific investment of about one million pounds into laboratories. We've got laboratories here which have been established very new, using lots of state-of-the-art analytical equipment that can be used for people who perhaps want to develop their projects in that kind of line. And we are able to make use of the land on site for doing research projects concerned with vegetable production. We've got a field where we can use for research and, and glass houses as well. This new version of the course really reflects the expansion of our research team and their specialities. And it's really quite innovative. We don't know anyone else who's really offering this. Of course, the advantage for students that they can really engage in with the research community and getting to know what actually happens in society and how researchers can shape society. The main modules of study are resilient food and water systems in, in practice, global processes about water resilience, community self-organisation for resilience and then governance and we address topics of policy and then finally people's knowledge so that students will understand how food and water systems are shaped at community level. Core is an absolutely fantastic place to study. We are situated here right in gardens surrounded by six acres of organic gardening 80 years worth of history behind that. Whilst we're part of Coventry University, so we get all the benefits of the city, our site is located about five miles south of Coventry city centre. So we're near the M1 motorway, straight down to London in about an hour and a half driving, and we're very close to Birmingham Airport. This course would enable you to go into a very wide variety of employment. Um, you could work in disaster management. In international development. Government departments helping develop policies. An NGO. Charity work. Consultancy roles. Perhaps to study further, to do a PhD. A local food movement around the world. And importantly, once you get into one, you're not stuck in that. A lot of people will move from one industry or one sector into another. The centre here has expanded, but I think the centre has grown in other ways. There are increasing numbers of honorary research fellows aligned with our work, and they work from Brazil, from Cuba, from Nigeria to Australia. But they're very much part of this network that makes up the Centre for Agroecology, Water and Resilience.